Good girl, Pia. Looks like we got here just in time. A little first aid should do the trick. Okay. One, two, three, four. There we go. Easy now. One step at a time. Don't worry, you're safe. Do you remember your name? Where you're from? Well, I can at least tell you where you are. Welcome to Durango. And who am I? The one rescuing you. I know this is going to be hard to hear, but... You can't go home. That place is just a memory now. So, you must be hungry. Warp can really take it out of you. Here. It's not much, but... It'll get you back on your feet. Okay, let's cover the basics. You're on an island, and Cora, to be exact, and it's no place for new survivors like you. That's why we're building a raft on the northeast shore. Once it's finished, we're off to calmer waters. Care to join us? Yep, thought so. There's still a lot of work to do, so I'm gonna go on ahead. Just follow Pia, she knows the way. Move when you're ready, but don't wait too long. You can talk to me through this. Oh, I almost forgot. Name's Kay. Just Kay. Catch you at the shore. by the lake yet? That's pretty standard wildlife here. So, how you doing? You dizzy or anything? The warp can do that to you. 
Of course. Sometimes it's just shock. Listen. Focus on keeping it together. This place will eat you alive if you don't. Okay, I got you this far. It's time for you to help yourself. There's a good lesson here. Don't go anywhere without your knife. Lucky for you, you're easy to make. Start with a blade. There should be a bunch of pebbles back there, right? So, what are you waiting for? Survive in Durango. It won't. You must be pretty tired after all that. There's a bonfire up ahead. Wanna... Charlie the Optimist. What do your friends call you? Oh, you look pretty tired. Come on, relax by the bonfire. I know the work can be really scary, but just remember what Kay always says. Don't panic. Hey, feeling better? So how about a smile? You do remember how to smile, don't you? <laughs> oh, there it is. See if you can smile after all that. You can smile after anything. Anyway, Kay is with the others on the Northeast Shore. Don't worry. I'll take care of anyone else who shows up.
Charlie. That means you're at the beach. Follow the coast northeast and you'll find the raft. How'd you like your new home? Just remember, you're a pioneer now, and true pioneers never give up. Not if they want to stay alive. We're leaving this island as soon as the raft is finished. You've proven you're not just some helpless survivor. Want to help us gather materials? Short on logs and reed stalks. There should be plenty by that lake over there. crafted that stone blade make another and you Find a few trees and cut them down to size. I know you probably have about a million questions, but getting out of here takes priority. Focus on your work.
for your first day. Stay focused. Things aren't gonna get much easier on the next island. I'll leave the stragglers to you, Charlie. Make sure nobody follows us, yeah? Aye, aye, Captain. with company affairs. Oh, and you. Still listening? You're a bit too fresh for a tamed island, so we'll start here. The company calls this place the safe house. Tamed islands are more stable than most. That's why so many people choose to live there. They're a great place to make your home. Or your domain, as we call it. Just head over to the camp for now. And don't let your guard down. This place is full of dangerous creatures. People, too. If you're not armed, you're gonna regret it. that are hard to find in the wilderness. Like the communication center, for example. Go check it out. Most organizations in Durango conduct their business here. It provides a stronger, more secure signal than your average walkie-talkie. Next on the list of amenities, the drop-off point. If somebody asks you to get something, the drop-off point is where you deliver it. Sending survivors to a tamed island without some guidance can be a death sentence in a place like Durango. You won't last long without learning some new skills, and that takes practice. How about you finish some chores I've been meaning to do? I'll fill you in at the communication center.
Congrats on your first kill. And good job. Really, I mean it. It's not easy, but you have to get used to it. In Durango, it's kill or be killed. Why don't you head back to the camp? Hunting for your meals might feel weird at first, but you'll get the hang of it. I apologize for the interruption, Kai, but is that a fresh batch of survivors I hear? It sounds as if you're helping them hone their survival skills, showing them the ropes, as it were. Ah, Lamar. I was going to contact you eventually, but it looks like you saved me the trouble. Allow me to introduce our most eccentric pioneer, Dr. Lamar. He educates people over the radio. When he's not eavesdropping anyway. You'll find a lot of people here share that habit. Oh, well, it's not as if the dropping of eaves is a uniquely Durangonian vice. I just can't help but get excited when I hear someone trying to better themselves. You've plenty of work to do, don't you, Kay? Perhaps I could be of service? That idea's not half bad. What do you say? Lamar knows a thing or two about surviving in Durango. Then it's settled. They're all yours, Lamar. Wonderful. Now, where to begin? As you may have discerned, I'm Dr. Lamar. I consider it my privilege to shepherd new denizens of Durango on their way. It seems you familiarized yourself with the basics of combat. Why not expand your repertoire with the body tackle? predators who know it. Here, I'll explain at the communication center. Thank you. 
on. There's something I want to show you just north of the camp. If you see my stuff, that means you're on the right track. Impressive, huh? You wouldn't believe what it cost me. But it was worth every tea stone. Though, the company may not agree. Anyway, let's get cooking. Comfies are best with a little char on them. Yep, it's fire. It cooks things. Anyways, you don't have to be a master chef to make a skewer. I'll show you how at the communication center. Salutations, Pioneer. Do you have a moment? I just realized I never explained why I founded Radio University in the first place. Now, it may seem a bit preposterous. A university in an unchecked wilderness ruled by prehistoric beasts. But all of human civilization shares the same origin. One must master the wild to move beyond it. Master the wild? We can barely survive it. You ask me? Civilization is overrated. Besides, Durango isn't as bad as you make it out to be. I'll take it over Earth any day. Oh, I'm not saying the untamed wilderness is without its virtues, Kay. I understand civilization has its shortcomings, but you must acknowledge its advantages. Radio University is our chance to restore the benefits of the modern world. Surely you understand, given your proclivity for reading. Fair enough. You're all just trying to live a normal life. 
Normal for Earth, at least. We're getting sidetracked. Go to the communication center. <laughs>